is soaring after the biggest week in art sales history. Christie's auction house blew through previous sales records, selling more than a staggering $1 billion of art in a single week. This Picasso, Women of Algiers version O, that smashed another world record for artwork at auction, fetching $179 million. And here to discuss this huge moment in art world history is Jed Tully, editor-at-large of Art and Auction magazine. First of all, how excited were you this week, Jed? Uh, I, I actually I was um, more exhausted than excited. <laughs> there were so many auctions, so many evening auctions, so much material, just overwhelming amount of very high quality uh, works of art. So why, why now and who's doing the buying? Uh, well, it's an international clientele, um, global, Asia, Europe, the United States, everywhere that billionaires are living or not living and um, buying these trophy works. That's the big difference this la these last few seasons that the market has gone heavily. There's huge buying from Asia, from China in particular, uh, the Gulf states. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a global um, acquisition pool right now. Which piece of artworks that sold this last week do you consider the most valuable? And was it potentially undersold or oversold? I mean, is the price just right? Uh, yes, I would say the uh, second highest price of the week that was also achieved at Christie's the same evening as the Picasso, and that was an Alberto Giacometti sculpture called Pointing Man from 1947, a life-size nude figure of a man. This is after World War II. This is in Paris when he made this work, and um, that sold for... Um, the hammer price was, I think, 126 million before mm. the premium was added. But there's an extraordinary story, briefly, behind it, in that the, the person who sold the work at Christie's on Monday night had acquired the work in 1970 for approximately $250,000, which at the time was an extraordinary amount of money for a work of art. But given the uh, appreciation, it's, uh, it's quite staggering. See, now, I was just going to ask you a question about the appeal of investing in art as opposed to something like real estate, but you just answered it right there in terms of long term. But do you worry this could be an art bubble? Is there a chance these pieces are worth less in the future? Well, I mean, it would, at the lower level, say, you know, under a million dollars, that's considered lower level these days. Uh, the people that are buying them on speculation, especially the younger artists that you know pop up every season it's it's just uh, it's like the stock of uh, you know penny trading speculation i mean i don't know if the appreciation on the picasso that made almost 180 million if that's going to have the same uh, direction uh, north from when it last sold in 1997 for 31 million dollars. Hmm. Do you at all worry though this is going to have a negative effect on public museums or, or or the like because a lot of these pieces may just go to well-lit corners in some mansion somewhere? Well it depends yes that, I mean that's a good question but then again um, these works of art if it was acquired by say an American a, a, a taxpayer let's say uh, and at some point um, who could make a contribution uh, to a museum of that work of art would get a quite a uh, you know a, a, a tax relief from the um, uh, capital gains that one would get from uh, selling something mm -hmm. for a mm -hmm. huge amount of money. Yeah, you make a good point. At least they can give it on loan, as many exactly. art collectors do, and that certainly is appreciated by those of us who love the art world. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time, Judd Tully. Thanks. Thank you.